Very important as well, it's the two finger tap. Okay, a lot of people miss, out, miss this one. I'm gonna just what, uh, tap my photo, get it back to normal size. I'm gonna take these two fingers and I'm just gonna tap on it. It takes that photo and puts it right back in place. Okay, two finger tap. And what it should do is it should close the item when you do that. Does everybody see that? Did everybody get that one to work? Okay, now the next thing is, which I really like, is the four or five finger swipe, which is gonna be probably some, somebody's favorite today. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my finger, okay, and I'm just going to say swipe. Watch what happens when you do that. Talk about, we're gonna move around the iPad quickly today because we know our gestures. Just five fingers, it should close it up. It closes up the app. Okay, did everybody get that to work? I'm, on, I'm, in, I'm in Safari, put my five fingers there. One, with one, I close it up. Do we get that to work? <laughs> Are you learning anything yet? Yes, I, I am. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Everybody get that to work? Okay. Now, the next thing is, and guys, what I want to do today is, if that did not work for you, let me tell you why it didn't. You need to go to settings, and this is also in your handout, number I, and I want everybody to do this with me. Go to settings, and then you should default to general. I want you to go to multitasking gestures, okay? Make sure that's turned on, because if it's not, then that, that little gesture I taught you will not work. I need you to do that, because this is gonna give you more gestures that you may not be using now, because that's turned off, okay? Turn it on and look what it will allow you to do. Use four or five fingers to pinch to the home screen. That means no matter what app you're in, you're in, you're good to go. Swipe up to reveal the multitasking bar and swipe left or right between apps, okay? So make sure that's turned on. All right, now, so what I wanna do is I'm gonna, I want everybody to go back to their home screen and what I want you to do is I wanna take, your, I want you to take your hand I want you to place it on your home screen and lift it up like you're lifting up a sheet of paper and tell me what you see. Exactly. That's called your multitasking bar. Before I designed this class, I went to, we have a, an Apple store in Lenox Mall in Atlanta, and I said, tell me your number one problem that people come in here. Why do they come in here like with problems with their iPad? And they said, because they always keep their apps running. And over time, it either slows that down their iPad or it locks it up. So you need to know that what you see now are the apps that are running behind the scenes. At some point, I've got to turn those off. But I've got to know what's running in order to turn that on. So what I have just shown you is your, it's called the multitasking bar because the iPad allows you to do three things at once. You're listening to music, you're surfing the web, you, you know, you get the idea. All right, so now, what you're going to do to turn off apps is simply hold down an app until it wiggles. You're just hitting the, you're hitting the minus sign. You're not deleting the app, you're just turning them off. You're saying, I don't need you to run behind the scenes. 